Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to learn about creditor's control account. I will tell you that what is creditor control account and I will share with you a very easy example in Excel that you will understand this concept very easily. I will share with you a chart of account that where this creditor account is located in chart of account. Plus, I will share with you the general ledger account of creditors and the general ledger account of creditors control account their connectivity to the trial balance so we will start first what is creditor control account creditors control account is an account which is having all the ending balances of the creditors of a company let me show you an example so you will understand this definition better so here we will see first chart of account here as you can see here here are the assets main account quote sub account quote and the assets or the account names here we have liabilities and owner equities under the liabilities and owner equities our supplier control account or creditors account control account is created as you can see here, the main account code of creditors control account is 4001.1 and the sub account code for the all creditors will be starting from 1004.1.1. Creditor number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the account code is also going so on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if you see this is the chart of account in every company or every accounting software will be the same the same numberings the numbers will be different but the format or the concept will be the same because this account is controlling these all accounts if you open this account you will get the ending balances of these accounts also now let me share with you the general ledger account of a creditor you can see here the creditor number one having ending balance 4.9 million and here creditor number two having 189,000 creditor number three 311 so at the end when we are going to our general ledger of creditor control account it is having all the balances of all creditors creditor number one two three four five here listed here when you click if you are using a software when you click on any of the creditor you will go to their general ledger account as well you can see here all the ending balances of all creditors here and the net balance payable to the creditors which is showing here after that if you go through the trial balance the trial balance under the current liabilities you will be having suppliers control account on the credit side of the trial balance so the main purpose of suppliers control account or the creditors control account to control the all creditors general ledger balances and when we are getting reports we can get the total value of our liabilities for creditors so this is the main purpose to create the suppliers or creditors control account I hope guys you understand the concept please subscribe my channel so it keep motivating me to create more videos for you thank you very much and goodbye